Okay, what's up you guys? It's Sagar Nisha and I'm back with another video. So, <clears throat> today I wanted to come in and talk about the new YouTube policy. So, today is January the 20th, 2018. And as most of you all know already, we small YouTubers have until February the 20th, 2018 to... um get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time so I just wanted to come and talk about this with you guys because I know a lot of us smaller youtubers were like beginning to get a bit discouraged because it was kind of like if we don't meet this requirement then we will lose our um, partnership with YouTube and for me, it's not like the end of the world because I wasn't getting paid from YouTube anyways, but it does hurt. And like when I got the message, it just kind of hurt my feelings. I just feel like YouTube could have came and approached everyone in a better way than what they did. And like the way they just approached everybody, it was just like the people who have less than a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours or bad actors, whatever that's supposed to mean. And it's like, I'm not trying to be an actor. I'm just trying to, you know, express myself and, you know, put my experiences and my life experiences out there for people to see i'm not trying to be this picture perfect person i'm not trying to be an actor or an actress like i'm just trying to be myself and i thought that youtube was a platform where you come to express yourself and be yourself and show your talents and what you're good at not just to pretend to be somebody who you're not And all the people who are pretending to be someone who they are not are the people who are having a lot of subscribers because those are the people who YouTube, you know, promote more than just the more authentic people who are out here really expressing themselves and being themselves, you know. <laughs> And it's just discouraging because, like, you know, the bigger YouTubers are the ones who are out here making it bad for everybody. And at the end of the day, they still going to benefit from YouTube when the people who barely even benefit from YouTube as it is now, you know, we are the ones who have to suffer for other people's mistake and it's not fair to us. But at the same time, I mean, I'm grateful for the experience because I feel like all that this did was just push me to strive even harder to grow my channel. Because it's like I already had plans on trying to grow my channel. Like, that was already my goal. And I was already saying 2018 was going to be my year to grow my channel. And I feel like this is just an extra incentive to make me just push even harder to just try to reach my goals. Because I already had plans and I had things set up, you know, for my channel this month things that i was already planning on doing you know things i have already been spending my money on getting ready and preparing for and then all of a sudden youtube hit me with this and it's like dang you know like i done already started preparing for this and planning these videos and doing this and doing that and trying to get my stuff together and then youtube hit me with this and now on top of everything else that i'm trying to do you know with school with work and now i have to even more pressure to promote my channel more than what I was already trying to do anyways but as a whole I feel like the experience brought a lot of us smaller youtubers together and made us you know really support each other and as a community and I really like that about the situation like I since the announcement of the new policy changes it's like i have found so many new channels like to support and just watch and so much new and fresh content to watch it's just so good because i had gotten to the point where i was bored of like just watching the same people every day and don't get me wrong like i like watching people channels and i like watching the people channels who i I normally watch on a daily basis, but it's just so good and refreshing to see a new face, you know, new talent, new people expressing themselves and being themselves and doing what they love to do. 
and you know it's a genuine love for youtube because it's not like we out here getting paid for youtube but you know we feel well i'm gonna just say me personally i feel like you know i've been on youtube for six years now and you know i did stop recording for a little while but i came back and these past couple of months like i really have been striving very hard to grow my channel like i've been recording on a consistent basis you know i be interacting with everybody i be doing what i gotta do to grow my subscribers it's just hard to get to that point but it's like since this policy is like since the change in the policies honestly i didn't grow about 50 subscribers in like one day and like it's so crazy like before i wouldn't i couldn't imagine growing 50 subscribers in one day so it's like you know this is just making people support other people way more and i really do like that about the change um i'm really striving to get to a thousand subscribers and for the um four thousand hours of watch time like i really i want that for myself and i'm gonna do what i have to do to get there and if i don't get there before february the 20th i mean i'm still gonna try to get there and i'm not gonna stop until i get there and when i do get there hopefully youtube will allow me to get my partnership back if i lose it you know and it is what it is but that's not gonna i'm not gonna allow this situation to stop me because at first i felt very discouraged and i felt like youtube just didn't care about me youtube you know just was throwing me away like whatever you a bad actor you not nobody important like goodbye to you and i'm not gonna allow this situation to discourage me and i really 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 hope that this situation you know motivates a lot more people to strive to grow their channel and strive to you know do what they got to do to meet these requirements and even if that's not your goal like if that's not what you're here for if you just here for entertainment or if you just here for you know just to post videos like if that's just what you want to do if this just your hobby and you just want to post videos and you don't really care about none of this then you know that's cool too but for me i feel like you know I wanted this for a very long time and like now that I really want to strive to do my best it's like now I feel like you know they just basically throwing me away and it, it just kind of hurt my feelings but at the same time it is a business at the end of the day and they trying to look out for the people who making the money and I understand that but I mean I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make sure that you know my channel could stay in a partnership and i could still have the privileges that i have as a youtube creator now you know with a partnership status because i don't know what the rules are going to be like if they take my partnership status away like are they going to be different times amounts of time that I, my videos have to be like do i have to stop a video at 15 minutes like how will it work with that you know i know i wouldn't be getting paid on adsense anymore you know they already barely promoting my channel as it is and most small youtubers barely get promoted as it is so it's just like they basically just throwing you away and you just gotta get it how you get it and so i'm just gonna keep on striving keep on working and doing what i gotta do to grow my channel you know put out good content for y'all like i'm not gonna slack on my content i'm not gonna slack on the topics that i talk about you know the things that i talk about and it's like you know another thing we use it's like all of a sudden ever since the little incident happened every video i post they is flagging my video and saying that i can't get monetization because this inappropriate content when i'm talking about losing weight when i'm talking about being on a diet like okay i was thinking well maybe because i was talking about the diet pills then maybe that's why they say it was inappropriate content so i put nothing in the video about diet pills i put nothing in there all i talk about is healthy life you know exercise and working out course of training like stuff like that and they still saying inappropriate content i don't understand why every video that i'm posting is youtube saying inappropriate content like it's just pissing me off and it's just like on top of you pissing me off with the email that you sent now you pissing me off with every video i post you posting you saying it's inappropriate appropriate content like it's really just starting make me feel like you just really picking on me for no reason and it's just really starting to get on my nerves but i'm just really 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 trying to stay positive and i'm trying to take this situation as a positive experience 
and I want everybody to take this situation as a positive experience. Just take it as I'm getting to meet new people on YouTube. I'm getting to subscribe to some new fresh ex um, channels and get to know new people and get to meet new people who maybe one day I could collab with or anything, you know. You never know who you might meet because of the situation. So I'm just taking this situation as a positive situation and I'm just working every day to just put out more and more content so you guys can you know like enjoy my videos but yeah i just wanted to kind of come and touch on this um if any of you guys are small youtubers such as myself or if even if you have a bigger following than me you know and you just want to like leave your links or leave your information down below i would love to see your content i would love to subscribe to you you know anybody who looking for some fresh new people to um subscribe to or to watch please check down in the comments i want everybody to leave the information i'm trying to watch everybody videos i'm trying to subscribe to as many people as i can who have some good content that i really want to watch you know what i mean and like i plan on being a permanent subscriber to people and you know i just want people to subscribe to my channel i ask to subscribe to your channel you know if i'm feeling your content if i'm feeling what you're talking about please leave your information down below i'm trying to check all the comments i'm trying to look out for everybody who's gonna look out for me you feel what i'm saying so we are we a team you know what i mean and we trying to work we all trying to meet the same goals we all trying to do the same things and i'm trying to look out for as many people as i can so so just subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below you know i'm gonna be very interactive in the comments you know if you want to you can also um, follow me on my other social media platforms i will leave the information at the end of this video um i will leave that information and i will see you guys in the next video peace